A ninja must always expect the unexpected. The American Ninja Challenge 2 Finals kicked off when the Marines of Camp Pendleton showed us and all of our wannabe DJs exactly how it's done. Ninja Warrior veteran Paul Tarek and Marine Master Sergeant Morano both comforted and screamed at our candidates as they prepared for their toughest challenge yet. Zach Selwyn here at Camp Pendleton, California, where the world's toughest Marines are made. That being said, there is no better battleground to hold our second ever American Ninja Challenge. Now the winners of this year's competition will be flown to Japan to compete on Ninja Warrior. It's gonna get fierce. So I got my man, Paul Terrett, the original American Ninja Warrior and US Olympic decathlete in the house to help us out. Now how many times have you been over to Japan and run the course? I've been to Japan twice and run it twice and uh... Didn't make it to the end. <laughs> but you did clear a, a stage, is that correct? Yeah, I made it to the third stage my first time and uh, only made it to the spider jump my second time. That's the tough part. We got a lot of competitors here today. What are we looking for in a ninja? I think we all know, we've all seen the show. Uh, we know what they need uh, physically, but uh, they really need to focus on the task at hand and not what's ahead. Good advice. Now, Paul, you know how difficult the course is. It takes phenomenal strength, speed, and endurance to survive. This is what we're looking for in an American Ninja Challenger. Now this year, the applications arrived by the hundreds, and you, the fans, narrowed them down to six. And here they come now. Free runner Brian Orozco from San Francisco. From New York, Shaolin martial artist Rick Seedman. All-star gymnast Mark Whitmer from Minneapolis. Also from the Big Apple, Wushu martial artist and gymnast Joe Simonson. Free runner Levi Muenberg from Michigan. And from Colorado, Chinese tempo karate sensation Rucellus Perry. Gentlemen, welcome to the challenge. I have with me Master Sergeant Murano over here. Take a look at these six competitors. Do they look like they have what it takes to tackle this obstacle course behind us? We'll see today, Zach. As you can see, we have the Marines going over the obstacles now. As the Marines go over, they have to be able to swing up and go down the poles and then get bounced to get on top of the logs. They have to traverse a wall, which is very challenging for many Marines. After the wall, they have still more logs to jump over, including the rope climb. They have to be able to slink their way up it and touch the very top pole. The rope climb challenges many of Marines in their time and will also challenge your contestants to see if they will be the next American Ninja. Paul, how does this course stack up to the one in Japan? It, uh, it looks very similar. It's about the same length. It's going to test their endurance to make it through the whole thing, as well as their endurance in their upper body muscles by uh, pulling themselves through the uh, up over all the logs and through all the pipes. Each day, two of our six challengers will go head to head to see who can complete this course the fastest. Each day, one challenger will be eliminated. On Friday, our final competition will go down on a course we call the Ninja Killer, which is made up of actual components of the Ninja Warrior course. Only three remaining contestants will enter, but only two will win and go on to compete at Ninja Warrior at Mount Midoriyama in Japan. Are you guys ready? Yeah! Excellent. Make sure to tune in tomorrow to see how it all unfolds in our second American Ninja Challenge.